everyone, welcome to the Finnish Grand Prix at Finland. We're finally here for the actual Finnish Grand Prix. So here we are at the RRC Full Ring. The RRC Full Park Ring is one of the track layouts of RRC Circuit. The one track having the most layouts with one major layout and three sub layouts. This time we'll be racing at a major layout, which is the RRC Full Ring. The longest layout with the sub 50 seconds of lap time, starting from the Park Ring layout, entering to the Forest Road layout and driving past Mini Speedway to finish the lap. This race track could be so challenging that it can, so it can be described as the North Lakwa of Finland. Here come for the weather forecast, it will be full sunny today, so soft tires will be on 8 laps, medium tires on 11 laps, hard tires on 13 laps, intermediates and wet tires will be on 15 laps. So here he comes to the driver's position, Sean Go once again gets pole position with Sun Hayes right next to him. On the second row we have Lo Yu Yang and Jun Jun, the best qualifying position for him. Third row we have Mika Margot and Christian Santos. Fourth row we have Joshua Percy and Steph Curry. Fifth row we have Yuki Tsunoda and John Newhouse. Sixth row we have Dennis Delgan and Ethan Patelson. Seventh row we have Alexander Albon and Mark Maria. 8th row with Roman Grosjean and Bora Cantor. 9th row with Kevin Magnussen and Jos Verstappen. 10th row at, uh, and our final row with Haby and Finn McPherson to wrap up the, the, to wrap up the grid. Sorry. As you come up to the grid right now, it slides out and away we go as we see Sean Go gets a very decent start there. Jun Jun, Jun overtaking Sean Go already and the two and the two uh, Apex GP cars are fighting really hard there and actually this is going to be a lot of fighting here as we see both of the Apex GPs and Steph Curry in the mix there's also John Newhouse who already made all the way to 8th place and oh my that's a full wide into the forest road layout and look at that as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 make that 10, almost 10 cars almost everyone is fighting and jockeying for the top 10 positions Go on more with oh that's that's more control making a big mistake they're going too wide onto the onto the gravel. There we go, Danny Shannon got fighting with Jos Verstappen here, trying to get into the top to the top 10 places as we see John Newhouse slowing down already on that straight. Danny Shannon got gets a deep dive inside on John on Jos Verstappen and both John Newhouse there but gets blocked down a bit and now he's finally gonna get into the top 10. A uh, five car fight for 10th place, actually 11th place. That's a bad, oh, that's I believe that's Joshua Percy who made a big mistake going definitely too wide. And we can see Junjun -Jun already in the lead. Sean goes to second place. Loya makes a big mistake. Ethan Butters is gonna close up the gap coming into the mini speed wheel layout. Is uh, Ethan Butters is going for the outside move? Definitely a bad, uh, good move, especially he's on the soft tires right now. Lo Yang holds up the inside line, definitely trying to defend as much as he can, but he can't. Ethan Batalsen overtakes Lo Yang for third place. Here we go back to the park ring layout. And that's Alexander Albon here on board, right behind of Lo Yang there. As, as we see Ethan Batalsen and Lo Yang still fighting for positions, and that's Joshua Percy already making all the way to seventh place. With his teammate Sonny Hayes right behind him. Joshua Percy and Carl, uh, I'm sorry, Joshua Percy and Christian Santos both on the soft tires. So no wonder we see a lot of new people in the in the top ten. And that's Joshua Percy getting pushed up by Christian Santos there, making a big mistake there. And we go on board with Steph Curry now fighting on Haby, just pushing Haby wide there. Now back on board with Marco Maria, he has Danish Dangan in front of him. He is definitely faster than Danish Dangan. As we see, he pulls right onto the inside, comes to turn one, turn two, overtakes him nicely on the airbin. Marco Maria gets 10th place. And as we see, that's Kevin Magnussen also trying to overtake Danish Dangan. Definitely easy for him because he, uh, Kevin Magnussen is on the soft tires. And there's a tree dive. Danny Jernigan gets sandwiched there and immediately just breaks for it. And now Kevin Magnussen gets Danny Jernigan's 11th place. But Danny Jernigan has the momentum now. 
is going to try to close out the gap. Same goes to Kevin Magnuson on Monica Maria there. Coming to the mini Speedway GP. Monica Maria wins 2 wide, pushing Mac Kevin Magnuson too, and that's going to get Danish down and gone all the way to 10th place. Amazing stuff for him. And now we see Lou Yuya and Sean Go getting overtaken by Ethan Patelson. Obviously, because Ethan Patelson's on the soft tires. Same goes for Junjun. And Alexander Elbon right behind all sort of soft tires. Can Sean Go and Lou Yuya defend him? And as we come to the Forest Road layout here. Alexander Elbon has the momentum, but he went too much onto the grass. He's gonna lose that momentum now. Now on board with John Newhouse, 7th place for him. As last wave, we have Finn McPherson all the way into top 10. So let's see if John Newhouse can survive and keep his car into the top 10. And that's Joshua. And we go on board with Loya right now. Ethan Patterson making a big mistake there. Loya's gonna try to dive deep, dive deep onto the inside. And he makes the move. Same goes for Alex Elbon. Oh, diving on the inside of Sean Bond. Now Sean is going to try to dive in back onto the inside. Passes him nicely and perfectly. Even though that was the outside corner for that corner. Now that's Alexander Elbon still trying to fight back for, for fourth position here. That's also Ethan Patelson now as we go on board with him. Lloyd Young went too wide, but luckily manages to dive back in to cover him up. And Alexander Elbon must have just lost the momentum again. As you see, Sean Go overtaking Alexander Elbon and now Ethan Patterson still having the soft tire, soft tire grip, trying everything he can to close out. And he's actually quite close there, but he has to break or else he's gonna crash. Lo Yu Yang out of the track there. Coming into the final corner on the mini speedway layout and they come back to the straight. And that's Lo Yu Yang with that momentum. Pulling a gap away, and that's also Sean Go right behind, already closing in. So, probably even Bethelson's soft tires are wearing out too much, and they're about to pit soon. And as we see, that's uh, oh, that's Alexander Elbow making a big mistake. Christian Santos right behind it, also on the same soft tires. He's gonna clear him on that hairpin. Can Alexander Elbow hold on for long? Not really. As we come into the forest world corners, that's a lot of curvy corners. And coming back into oh that's Alexander Elbow making a big mistake. Christian uh Christian Santos also made a little mistake, but Alexander Elbow wins too much wide all over the barrier there. Luckily, no much damage for him. And that's John Newhouse on the soft tires. He's gonna try to make his way overtake Alexander Elbow. He closes in by going on the inside there. And here they come to turn one and turn two. That's Alexander Elbow defend aggressively. That's Loyang and Sean, that's Sean Go overtaking Ethan Patelson. Definitely the soft tires are running out right now. Amazing soft, amazing stuff for these guys running on the soft tires. They definitely wanted the, they definitely took the risk and trying to be fast immediately. But now those who went on the medium and hard tires are gonna be benefited because they can last longer out there on the track. As we see Jun Jun is now slowing down too. Lo Yang is going to try to close it out into the gap. And the same goes for Sean Go. As we see Carla, uh, sorry, that's Christian Santos already overtaking Alexander L1 there. Danish down gun on the medium tire, still holding his position on 10th place as we see him coming out of the mini speed. Oh, that's a contact! That's Yuki Sumoda closing out, colliding Monica Maria there. Luckily, not much damage there. And Yuki Sumoda is going to overtake Monica Maria there. That's John Newhouse, and I believe that's also Joshua Percy into the pit lane. A lot of drivers coming in for the pit lanes due to their soft tires running out already. Now Long Yang gets first place, Sean Go gets second. Close, very close for both of them. As Sunny Ace is still forcing Ethan Patelson to break a little too much there. And that's Christian Santos also on the hard tires. Alexander Elbon also on the hard tires. Seventh place for him now. John Newhouse manages to keep his eighth. Uh, sorry, he's he's now on eighth position. He was seventh before the pit stop. Suzuki Sonoda making a big mistake too, and that's also Mark Cover a uh, control making a big mistake there. Steph Curry is gonna overtake Yuki Sonoda for that big mistake. Out uh, uh, entering the mini speedway there. And now Yuki Sonoda on all the hard tires, Steph Curry having the faster tire there, fresher hard tires. And now this is a fight for 8th place, between Joshua Percy, John Newhouse and Monica Maria, definitely fighting head, 
it's a terrible fun to place. Monica Maria has the medium tires. John Newhouse and Joshua Percy on the fresh hard tires. Let's see if both of these guys can hold off Monica Maria. And as we can see, yes, because Monica Maria has already lost that lost that momentum there. Entering the that's so um, entering the forest road area. That's Christian Santos makes a fake move for Ethan Patelson, dives on the inside and overtakes Ethan Patelson for fourth place. And as we see Lori Young already coming into the pits, now he's going to drop all the way to third place as Sean inherits the first place position. And we can see Christian uh, Sunny Hayes here trying to overtake Ethan Patelson both on the I'm sorry, uh, Sunny Hayes on the older hard tires here. So Ethan Patelson definitely got the chance to try and pull him off, but Sunny Hayes. Sunny Hayes has the faster car. He definitely dies on that corner there. Coming into the second half, entering the forest road, I believe he makes that move. And now we go on board with Yunjun already closing in the gap on, on Sean because Sean's hard tires are also running up right now. And as you see, Yunjun closing in the gap. Sean makes a mistake. Yunjun also makes a mistake. And now let's see if Sean go. Yes, Sean is definitely coming in for pit stop. Jun Jun goes for the straight line there because he has reached for fresh tires. And now fresh hard tires on to Sean to go. As we see Lonnie Yang also overtaking Sean there. Christian Santos right behind him. Almost unable to defend Christian Santos. Sean go there. And let's see who's on board with this is Ethan Patelson being in the Apex GP sandwich as we see Sonic Hayes in front and Joshua Percy right behind him and he's gonna make a dive that's Joshua Percy almost making a dive on Ethan Patelson but Ethan Patelson says no to you coming out of the Forest Road GP uh, Forest Road uh, layout and to the mini speedway layout right now and he's gonna keep the inside line he's also gonna open in Sonic Hayes because Sonic Hayes went too wide there that compromises Joshua Percy because Joshua Percy almost got the chance to overtake and that's Christian Santos overtaking Sean Go both on the hard tires let's see if Sean Go can guess that he dives deep and overtakes him for now let's see if Christian Santos can make a big fight here and this is a oh Sean Go wins too wide Sean Go wins too wide on that corner and now Christian Santos is gonna pull out the gap as Ethan Patelson and Joshua Percy closes up the gap right now on him Big, big mistake for Sean Go probably got, got him too exhausted because of those corner tracks. Corner, uh, that much of corner, sorry. And as we see Joshua Percy definitely trying to closing in on Sean Go, and that's Ethan Patelson right behind him, still has to the gap there. Sean Go definitely not trying not to make any more big mistakes, or else he's gonna lose top 5 positions. And this might be probably his first time to lose the top 3 podium positions if he maintains the 4th place he has to try to fight hard here as Joshua Percy wins a little bit too wide Ethan Patelson is gonna close up the gap there exceeding the ring exceeding the park ring layout coming into the forest room there and now Sunny Hayes right behind of Alexander Elmont John Newhouse got overtaken by Sunny Hayes there ninth place for John Newhouse Come into the forest road ring, and that's Monica Maria on the soft tires. Definitely already really closing up already. And now, oh, that's Christian Santos makes a big mistake. And Sean Go definitely wins for an opportunity and overtakes Christian Santos immediately. Joshua Percy, Joshua Percy runs out too wide there. Let's see if Ethan Persson can try to close up the gap on him. Just like just uh, just like a few laps ago, as we see them entering lap 15, half of the race is done here. It's leading driver Lo Yu Yang on the soft tires, Jun Jun here on the hard tires, quite far behind. And that's Sean Go also on the fresher hard tires there. Let's see if Sean Go can close up the gap with Jun Jun, but now Sean Go also have Christian Santos behind him to worry about. Joshua Percy here on 5th place, Ethan Bonanza on 6th, Sunny Hayes on 7th, Marco Maria on 8th, and now let's see go back on short Christian Santos here. As he tries to close up the gap on Sean Go X, uh, and uh, in the mini speedway layout, that's Joshua Percy there right behind Christian Santos now. And we can see definitely see Sean already 
pulling away on that main street there. Joshua Percy definitely trying to get a dive there, closing the gap a lot. As we see Christian Santos makes another mistake, goes, got pushed out by Joshua Percy there. And now Christian Santos just gives him that position of fourth place. Christian Santos probably saying that, alright, you're gonna take it, because I'm gonna pit soon. And as we can see, yes, Christian Santos' hard tires are definitely almost half of the tire age, and that's a runoff. Christian Santos there. Definitely a big mistake for him. And as we can see, Loi out here on soft tires, leading comfortably. I believe there's about 10 to 20 seconds of gap to Junjun. And as you can see, Shango already definitely closing up on Junjun there. Coming into the first corner, into the pot wing layout there. He's trying closing up the gap, getting every apex he can. And as we can see, that he's definitely closing up the gap now. Junjun running a little bit too wide there, now that's very very close of a gap now. Shango's definitely gonna try to dive on the beat inside, but Junjun defends it perfectly. Junjun still tries to hold off Shango here coming into the forest road layout. Junjun forces Shango right a little bit there off the track, he off the track Shango's. And now entering the main speed range, you can see if Shango can, can get a push and run. Yes he did, he pushed John, uh, Junjun there. Junjun's gonna get overtaken by Shango and Shango and Lo Yang, both of the Jaguar Neon drivers, gets into the top two. It's a Jaguar Neon racing one two for both of these drivers. And as we can see, Junjun is still definitely trying very hard to overtake back Shango. And there's a three-way fight for fifth place as we see Christian Santos, Joshua Bruce, and, and sorry, that's Sunny Hames and Ethan tells him Sunny Hames they're getting definitely being sandwiched by both of them. This is definitely a close fight as we can see some Hayes pulling out on the outside of, of Ethan Patelson that Ethan Patelson defends very hard on the inside and now he forced him to go off the track a little bit there on the forest road entry. Then he comes and almost exiting the forest road now there's a little bit of contact there and now the contact and Ethan Patelson gets pushed wide out off the track. As we see, Sunny Hayes overtakes Ethan Bertelsen for 7th place, uh, for 6th place. And that's Monaco Maria also closing into the gap, overtaking Alexander Albon probably very early. But he's now definitely gonna get into the pits. As you can see, the soft tires are definitely running very low for him. That's Alexander Albon gonna overtake Monaco Maria for 8th place in the pit lane. And now Sunny Hayes, that's Joshua Percy right now. Long down on the lead with fresh new hot tires there. Shogun second place, Junjun third, Joshua Percy on fourth. Fifth place goes to Sunny Hayes. And Christian Santos all the way on sixth place, seventh place for Ethan Telson. Eighth place for Alexander Albon, ninth place for Barbara Maria. And that's Bora Cantor probably hitting one, probably hitting a wall there, going too wide. Off the track he goes and now that's Yuki Zunaleko probably gonna come in and fight for 10th place. As you see him coming up to the mini speedway layout. But Yuki Zunoda gets a dive, Monica Maria dives too wide there, and that's Yuki Zunoda overtaking Monica Maria. And sorry, that's Bora Control there. And now Steph Curry is also gonna join in to fight to fight for 10th place. Steph Curry on the hard tires, Bora Control on the medium, but Steph Curry has the street line speed there. Now that's more car as we see Ethan Batas and Yuki Sunoda on 8th and 9th place. Probably a big mistake for them at that first, first corner there. And this is Finn McPherson and John Newhouse. John Newhouse can help take him there. And oh yeah, on the lead, Shango. Here in 2nd place, 3rd place for Sunny Hayes, 4th place for Junjun, 5th place for Joshua Percy. We go on the bot wave. This is Junjun here. That's Joshua Percy right now. Closing in the gap on Junjun now. With that fresh hard tires, he's definitely gonna have a chance. And that was Ethan Patelson running too wide off the track there. But he still gets 8th place. Mark Contour 9th. Steph Curry on 10th. Yuki Zunoda drops out of the top 10. But Steph Curry is definitely gonna fight with Mark Contour there. Both on the medium tires. They're definitely fighting tooth to nail for that position now. And to the park ring layout here. And there's 
to come for the corner and during the corners will lay out that Ethan Sinks and Christian Santos is definitely fighting for 7th place there. This could be, this could be a 4 car fight for 7th place if something goes wrong for Ethan Sinks and Christian Santos. And Christian Santos runs out too wide. Same goes for Steph Curry. Steph Curry is definitely going to get closed out by Yuki Tsunoda there. Yuki Tsunoda ran wide on that entry on to the mini speedway layout. He's gonna lose that mini, that mini gap there. And as we can see, this is a teammate fight here. Yuki Tsunoda as an elbow, as an elbow on the fresh tire. So Yuki Tsunoda is definitely giving him that space. Now Hua Kanto here fighting with Christian Santos here for eighth place. I believe uh, Christian Santos made a mistake on a few quarters before. Christian Santos diving on the inside, but Hua Kanto has that medium tire grip there. Christian Santos clears off Hua Kanto, but pushing him out wide onto the track. Now that's Steph Curry right behind him, definitely closing in on Christian Santos. Uh, Hua Kanto there. Christian Santos makes a big mistake. Hua Kanto overtakes him, and Steph Curry is oh, Steph Curry makes a mistake too. I think he hits the wall or something. And now Steph Curry drops all the way to 13th place. As we can see, that's Alexander Elmer also making a big mistake here. Now on board with, I believe this is Marco Maria on 6th place. Trying to close on the gap on Sunny Hayes there. And now we have Joshua Percy all the way on 3rd place trying to close up the gap to Sean Go. Now on board with, this is Sean Go here. Joshua Percy right behind him. On New Young on the lead. And Mark Murray on 6th place. 5th place for Sonny Hayes. And that's Jojo making a big mistake there. Even uh, uh, Sonny Hayes is definitely going to try to close up the gap now as they enter the mini speedway layout. Coming up to the final few corners and doing the pop ring layout. Sonny Hayes on the soft tire. He's gaining, he's gaining. He lost the momentum a little bit out there. To turn one, he tries to dive on the inside, but that's going to be the outside for the next corner. Here he comes trying to dive again, but it's jo Jun Jun definitely defends it perfectly. And now Sunny Hayes is going to try to push Jun Jun out, but that's got still going to be our outside for the next corner. Here he comes, Jun Sunny Hayes entering the forest row, diving deep on the inside with that soft tire, soft tire grips, grips there. That's Jun Jun dropping to fifth place. Sunny Hayes overtaking Jun Jun there. And now Sunny Hayes got, got out of the track a little bit. Junji is definitely going to try to close up the gap again. Entering the mini speedway layout. Sunny Hayes went onto the wall. And there's Monica Maria closing in right behind there. Definitely closing on the gap already as they, end, uh, as they come to the final few corners. Entering to the pot ring layout. A lot of contact there. And Sunny Hayes with that soft tire grip. He's definitely going to pull away from Monica Maria. As we see Sean on the soft tires too. Trying to close on the gap to Loyu Yam. Loyu Yam having at least a 30 second gap, I'd say. And as you see, Ethan Pazos in here fighting with Christian Santos, both on the same age of all tires here. Alexander Elbow on 9th place, fighting for him is Ethan Patelson. Now, Alexander Elbow closing the gap with Ethan Patelson here. As you see, we come into the forest road layout. And Patelson almost running too wide on that corner. That's gonna let, let Alison Elmo get the momentum. Coming into the main speed layout, Alison Patelson on the inside, defending Alison Elmo real hard here. Alison Elmo still trying to go for the gap. He runs to the gap, but then he runs out of the track. Now he's gonna lose that gap. And also that momentum he gained on entering the main speed layout here. As they, as they enter lap 26 now, as an elbow is still trying to fight for 8th place. Trying everything he can to close up the gap with Ethan Patelson there, but he definitely goes a little bit too right there. It's more control on soft tires. Steph Curry and Ethan Patelson, Steph Curry on 11th. And what we have, this is Ethan Patelson here. As an elbow is still far behind trying to close up the gap. And I believe that was Christian Santos making a mistake there. That's what they see the trial on the on the grass there. And that's Joshua Percy and Sunny Hayes. Joshua Percy on the hard tires. He's gonna get overtaken by Sunny Hayes, who's on the soft. He made a little contact there, tagging into the first corner. And 
Sonny Haves is definitely going to pull away from Joshua Person and say, alright, it's my turn, I'm going to try to fight for, for second place. But I believe he doesn't really have the chance because the gap from Loy to Shongo is the same as the gap on Shongo and Sonny Haves. And that's Joshua Percy still right behind Sonny Haves on the hard tires, definitely trying to overtake him back. As you see Junju far behind, also trying to close up the gap for them. And that's Joshua Percy makes a fake move, dives on the inside of Sonny Haze, forces Sonny Hayes to run wide there, entering the mini speedway layout. Here we come to the final field corner, that's yeah, as they enter the 28th lap here. Two more laps to go. And now we go on board Ethan Patel and Alexander Elmore already closing up the gap a lot there. As they come into turn one and turn two, Ethan Patel and Lance a little bit too wide there. Alexander Elmore closes the gap by trying to dive on the inside. Alexander Elmore trying to close up the gap as much as he could, hitting all the apexes there. And as we can see, Borg and Tor and Steph Curry also right behind. Both on the soft tires, they are definitely going to try to fight for 7th, uh, that's 8th place, sorry. Steph Curry running a little bit too wide. But now he's going to close up the gap on that momentum. SPC Bar comes on, makes a big mistake there, dipping one of his tires onto the grass. As they come into the mean speedway layout, Steph Curry force, trying to force an error out of Bar Control. Bar Control closes on as an album. As Ethan Pedersen makes a big mistake, Alexander L1 just suddenly went too wide, giving Borak and Tom and, e and Steph Curry the ticket to the top 10. And let's see, as Ethan, uh, as Borak and Tom and Steph Curry still fighting out, Alexander L1 waiting patiently behind them and also trying to close up the gap there. And as we see Borak and Tom forcing Steph Curry wide, and now Alexander L1 is going to get back to top 10. That patience was worth it. But can Alexander Elmore hold Steph Curry long? And that's probably a yes for now. As you see him forcing Steph Curry to break a little bit too much. Alexander Elmore went too wide. That's, that's Ethan Patel's also going too wide. There's also Paul Cantor running too wide. A lot of drivers running too wide here. As you see Ethan Patel's and Alexander Elmore clears of Paul Cantor there as they come into the green speedway there. Ethan Patel's and Lance too wide off the track. Steph Curry and Paul Cantor is closing on the gap on Alexander Elmore. Already in the top 10, they both are going to try to put off Alexander Elmore. As you see, Alexander Elmore defends Steph Curry, but not Monica Maria. Here they come into the part way layout for the final lap. That's Alexander Elmore forcing Steph Curry a little bit wide there, but Steph Curry having the soft tire grips. He's definitely going to try to close it back in again. Diving on the inside, Alexander Elmore runs too wide. And oh, that's, that's Steph Curry making a mistake again, probably. Probably spinning out his car. And now both as and Elbow and Ethan Butas are in the top 10. That's Yos Verstappen into 11th. As we go on board, uh, yeah, Yos Verstappen and Steph Curry running too wide there. And that's Chloe Young and Shango already finishing the race. 1 2 for the Japan Neon Racing. And a pace GP gets 3 and 4 June 5th. Ethan Pazasa into the top 10, Steph Curry only managed a 11th place after that big mistake there and John Newhouse who qualified into the top 10 sadly didn't manage to keep his top 10 positions a very good race, a lot of action, a lot of mistake by these drivers like I said this track is probably the Nordschleifer of Finland, of Finland race is finally concluded and that's Lo Young getting the fastest lap time here getting full 26 points good result for both of the Jaguar Neon drivers and now let's get into the driver standings right now as we can see with the driver standings Lo Young first place Sean Go second place and Sunny Hayes on third place and Monica Maria is our driver over of the day from 14th place to 6th place for, for him as we can see here on the full driver standings of the of the uh, un, up until the previous race just now, Sean Go with 161 points, Lo Yang on 122 and uh, 32 points. Monica Maria gets 34 points, gains one position on Ethan Patelson and Junjun and Junjun overtaking Steph Curry 
Minka Margo and Josh Verstappen gets all the way on 8th place on the standing. Steph Curry drops his position on 9th. Christian Santos also overtaking Minka Margo and Josh Verstappen for 10th place as, we, as he gets 21 points. Now up for the team standings here, that's still Jaguar Neon Racing with 293 points on the lead. Fenders Racing gets, gets 3 points more than hell the FTCC ups to 4th place. And let's see in the future if Hello the FTCC can gain more points to try to fight for, with Fenders Racing. So next week's race will be on the final race of Finland Grand Prix, uh, of the Finland track at the RC Forest Road. We'll see you guys next week.